with school was I said, I found the school told me they had all the answers to life. They said, we can tell you where life started. Where, they, they even really said that in the hard sciences mostly. The hard sciences. Remember those? What were those? Um, biology, chemistry, and physics. <laughs> the three R's. <laughs> I used to mess around with my teachers, though. I'd raise my hand, and the teacher would go, yes, Ron. i go, yes, to my uh, biology. i go, yes, if I eat pasta immediately after eating antipasta, <laughs> will they cancel each other out, or will I just get gas? <laughs> and why do some women drive six blocks to the gym to walk 10 miles on a treadmill? <laughs> do fish have to wait a half hour after they eat? Then I'd say to my chemistry professor, why is the cling-free sheet the only thing that sticks to anything when you pull it out of the dryer? <laughs> and why is the lint in my dryer the color of nothing I own? <laughs> and then I'd say to the physics professor, you say all things are relative, but I say all relatives are things. <laughs> and all my relatives took all my things. <laughs> but they said they all had the answers to where life started. Each one of the hard sciences, where life started. Let's take chemistry. They said life started at where? The nucleus of an atom, right? And what went around the nucleus of an atom? Does anybody remember? Electrons, excellent. The size of the atom was 10 to the minus 10. That's very, very small. But I used to ask my teacher, you know, where, 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 where does that come from? Where does that come from? And they'd say, well, and they'd start explaining. And I found out if you go to 10 to the minus 33, the atom becomes so small, it implodes upon itself, becomes a black hole, ceases to exist. They got something from nothing, but they couldn't answer that. So then I went out to the physicist, and the physicist says life starts at a single point. They called it singularity, and they said with a big bang, the universe exploded out. Now, we do know the universe is continuing to expand, and we do know that it is, it is slowing down as it expands. But I've talked to some of the top physicists from Caltech in Los Angeles. They said there's one thing we don't know. We don't know what happened the first three minutes. No joke, three minutes. We know three minutes to now, it all makes sense. But we have no idea what happened the first three minutes. So then I went over to the biologist, and the biologist said life starts at a single cell, single cell, and after two billion years, two billion, it evolved into a two-cell structure. But what the biologist couldn't answer was called the Cambrian population explosion, where in just five million years, we went from two cells to all 36 body types currently in existence. That was supposed to take another two billion years. It only lasted five million, but they couldn't answer that. And somehow, we ended up at man. What are they leaving out? <laughs> I don't know. I think I know what the public schools are leaving out. I think the public schools are leaving out the fact that our God reigns! Our God reigns! Our God reigns! You guys are awesome. God bless you. Thank you very much.